Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at another brand new way to gigantic trackers. This is the Lesmosaurus. Beautiful color. Beautiful and huge. This one is a lot bigger than I anticipated. There's the barcode. Side of the box. This one lives in the coastal area. So it shows you the action attack and it comes with along with the gear, the tracking gear that it comes in. Pretty cool. And the other one that's currently should be shipping out next week. So let's open it and check this out. All right, so I open it up. Um, first thing first, I already noticed this one has a hard time kind of sitting on his belly. You kind of have to maneuver his uh, pectoral flippers so they can just kind of have it balance it better due to the little extra crest thing that it has on the bottom here. But let's start reviewing the figure. This one is huge. It looks just like the other one we got, please, Isaurus, but way more detail. Um, so let's start from the, uh, the front. The head sculpt is amazing. I will say a lot of nice scales. Um, the eye is really nice. I love the color. It's like coral aqua-ish. But one thing I do have something I don't dislike about it is the teeth. Once again, Mattel got these weird teeth. After we saw that the Metric Anthosaurus had so beautiful teeth, and now we go back to this kind of, um, I guess it's a mainline thing, it's a kid's toy, so they didn't really scope it that well. Let's get a front facing. I mean, it looks pretty scary from the front looking, but yeah, these teeth are very eh. Wish they would get a better control of that. Uh, other than that, as I said, the color is beautiful. It looks just nice. This one is from the coastal area. It has nice little dark blue that kind of go in and out of the sequence and the shading. And even look closely, it's very snake skin. Very nice. You see the details here? So they got the darker blue going with the aqua blue along with cream on from the chin all the way down to the belly. We got pretty far down to the belly. And even the back of it here has a bit of white blotches with this blue. It's really beautiful. When, um, and then another thing I noticed, the plesiosaur has a flat tail versus this one has little spine on the tail. So articulation, let's talk about articulation. This one is nice, um, front flipper. You can pose it just like the Mosasaurus. And the back flipper, pose it just like the Mosasaurus. And this one comes with two action features. One, if you click on this side, you have like a thrusting action. Thrusting action going down with the neck. Pretty cool. And then when you pick on this side, and uh, on the left side of the body, the shoulder blade, it turns his head and Kind of chomps attack too. Only goes on this side though. It doesn't go on both sides. And then other than that, let's compare it to the other um, marine reptiles that we have. So the first one I'm going to show you guys would be the plesiosaur that we got a couple of years ago. So originally when we got this, I thought it was so undersized. But then now I've read it up that plesiosaurs, there's many species. And this one particular one was this is just a smaller kind. So compared to the Elasmosaurus that we got today, see the difference? Huge, right? The colors very similar, but not the same. Similar, but not the same. So let me bring the Mosasaur so we can see the difference also. Okay, so the next one out, not the Mosasaur like I was gonna bring in. So this one we just got earlier this year. Another beautiful one. As you can see, size it up wise, it's definitely bigger and very similar tail, but definitely bigger. And I like how Mattel actually breaks into more marine reptiles so you can kind of have a nice little collection of it yourself. So not just, you know, the basic Mosasaurus. 
And now let's bring out Mosasaur himself. All right, and here's the Mosasaur. Just for giggles, let's see, compare them to the other ones. So, you know, still range supreme. Mosasaur is still the huge one we have. Mosasaur is actually pretty ginormous, longer than most dinosaurs we have besides the sauropod. And this is the plesiosaur, the first one we got. And such a little baby. So now here she is compared to her. It's maybe halfway to the body. Um, but Mosasaur is huge. So, but this one is pretty cool. I like the color contrast in all of them all. Um, not all, you know, the same color and or just gray or green. We got nice little tropical colors in this. And I think it's great that Mattel has gone out their way and really branch out and expand the coastal area with more dinosaurs that are, well, excuse me, marine reptiles that existed along with dinosaurs. So we're not just stuck with one Mosasaur or, you know, a repaint of a Mosasaur again. Um, so like I said, I got the first edition Mosasaur, so I don't have the cool tail feature the new one has. Or the Dino DNA tag. I meant to pick that up soon. And I heard that says that one is made of ocean plastic. It's a different type of um, texture. Even though it's still real feel. It's a different type of texture. So maybe I'll get that one next and see. But other than that. Um, I have to grade it. I would say 5 out of 5. This one is great. Um, I love the large size of it. I love, I love the color of it. Just the color of this whole creature um like i said the only thing i would fix would be the um the, the teeth and the mouth but other than that i think the action feature is so fun the um thrusting and also the swan side attack and he also has some um tracking gear let me put those on and show you guys all right so the uh gear is actually pretty easy Almost like a horse saddle. It just goes behind the back. And then the belly part, you kind of just buckle up. And here it is. So this is the tracking gear. Um, it's made of pretty soft plastic. So it doesn't really get in the way of the action features. As you can see, you can still push the action features and stuff. All right, so yeah, I would highly suggest picking this up. Um, it's available now on Amazon. I have included a link for it on the bottom of my bio and also in the description of the product. So if you enjoy it, please pick it up. And um, as always, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. One last thing, forgot to give the DNA code. It's not quite on the website yet, the app. So we're waiting for an update for it. So as always, thank you for watching and see you guys next time.